Hello everybody. In this video, we are going to discuss a question on diagonalizability in linear algebra. So the question here is: For what values of P, Q, R, the matrix be diagonalizable? So this matrix is of order three cross three, and we know that for diagonalizability, if a matrix is of order three cross three, if it has three independent eigenvectors, then this matrix is diagonalizable. Otherwise, not. So uh, for eigen vectors, we have to first look for eigen values. So uh, for eigen values, what we always do, we'll take the matrix A minus lambda i, and we'll solve the determinant of this equation and equate it with equals to zero, right? And find the values uh, of lambda from here, and that will be our eigen values. But if you will see this matrix, you can realize that this is an upper triangular matrix. and we have one property property of eigen values for upper triangular matrix lower triangular matrix and diagonal matrix if we have these type of matrix eigen values are the elements the numbers on the diagonal entries so eigen values here are eigen values the values which are on diagonal entries that means 1 2 and 1 these are the eigen values Okay, so now we have to look for eigen vector. So we also know that uh, eigen vector corresponding to distinct eigen values are independent. So because one and two are distinct, so we'll get two independent vectors. But uh, because we know that one is repeating twice, so we have to look for the eigen vector corresponding to one. So that means we have to look that we'll get uh, two eigen vector corresponding to the eigen value one. Okay, so let's find out eigen vector corresponding to one. So eigen for eigen vector corresponding to one, we'll have let's suppose this matrix is A. So we'll have to solve A minus one into Y. That means A minus I and the vector x, y, z is equals to zero, zero, zero. Right? We have to solve this equation to find the eigen vector corresponding to one. So let's see what is A minus I? Zero, P, R. Zero, one, Q, and zero, zero, zero. Right? This will be our A minus I matrix. Everything else remains same. Now, if you will see here, if I'll multiply these two matrix, so what would I get? P Y plus R Z is equals to zero, comma Y plus Q Z. Is equals to zero. These two equation does not have any variable x, so that means x is a free variable. X is a free variable. So we will get one vector with this variable. I'll take any value. I'll give any value to x, and I'll get a independent. I I'll get a eigen vector corresponding to this value. Uh, to this variable x, right? So let's solve for y and z. So if I'll take y is equals to minus q z, right? What would I get from here? Minus p q z plus r z is equals to zero. That will give me z is equals to r minus p q is equals to zero. Now, either z is zero or this r minus p q is equals to zero. Z cannot be zero because if I'll take z is equals to zero, then y will also become zero. Both y and z are zero. Then uh, we'll have only one eigen vector corresponding to x. That is our free variable. So we have to take z not equals to zero. That will give me another eigen vector because the condition is given to us is that this matrix is diagonalizable. So that means corresponding to one, we have two eigen vectors. Uh, one eigen vector uh, corresponding to this x, and next eigen vector corresponding to this. Y and Z. So Y and Z cannot be zero. So we are left with R minus P Q is equals to zero. That will give me R is equals to P Q. Let's see which one of the conditions satisfies. Which one of the options satisfies this condition? That will be our answer. So R is equals to P Q. We know that this is P, this is Q, this is R. Zero into zero is equals to one. False. One into one is equals to zero. False. Root two into root two. Is equals to two. This is correct. Next, root two into root two is equals to root two. No, false. So only option C is correct. Here I can say that the condition 
this r is equals to pq is only satisfied by option c so here option c is our correct answer so the main thing here is that we'll remember that for diagonalizability we'll get three distinct linearly independent eigen vectors and for distinct eigen values we always have independent eigen vector so we do not have to waste time in uh, finding eigen vector for two right so we have to only look for eigen vector corresponding to one and we'll get one eigen vector corresponding to x and another with y and z so that y and z cannot be zero we only have zero is equals to r minus pq and that condition will help us to tick the option okay thank you